So the next patient is a 38-year-old woman presenting an obesity with BMI at uh, 36. She has no other comorbidity, so she is uh, scheduled today for an endoluminal sleeve gastroplasty. And we will join now uh, Dr. Huberti and Mustafa Ibrahim, who will perform this uh, procedure. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm really happy to be here. I'm working with a great team with uh, Francine and Miss Lee, uh, with my friend Mustafa and our anesthesiologist, with, which is Yvon. Uh, I'm working with uh, a Fuji uh, scope, and I will show you another technique of endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. So you saw this morning another one which was done by the Apollo. This is another device which is called the Andomina, and I will let my friend Mustafa explain how the device works and then we'll do some sutures together. So uh, the device, as you can see in the endoscopic image, it's, um, it's an over-the-scope uh, device that accommodates any uh, endoscope. It has two hands, the straight hand with uh, a window inside, and on the other side, the bending arm here, that, you, that this bending arm accommodates uh, already a preloaded uh, needle. So I will bend first the arm like this, so you can see now, this is the this is the bandable arm. So normally, what Vincent will do now, uh, he will uh, I will put this just this as a scope, and you can open and close. As and this is one of the good things on this technique that you can any time during the procedure you can open in Domina and take your scope out. Uh, so this is now assembly that we have the scope here, we have the bendable arm with the needle inside. So the needle contains already uh, a preloaded uh, suture with two tags. I will pierce now uh, the... F uh, yes. You get it? Yes, you can. So now we will pierce the first, uh, the first uh, uh, piercing uh, and then we release... Yes. So there is a security which... Yes. So she, uh, our nurse will, will push first the needle. You can see it. Yes, push the needle. Can you zoom in yeah. a bit more? Like this, this is better. So you can see now the needle piercing. Ah, nice, nice. Yes. Continue, continue. So you, you have the full thickness piercing, continue. Yeah, we can see it very nicely. This is really a nice okay, overview. Stop. Now we, we release the first tag. So release first, please, the first tag. Mm -hmm. But uh, you cheated a bit with your finger. How is that in the body? Yeah, you are, you are, yeah, yeah. No, this is in the body. So the difference between here and the body, we pull back this, so you'll see even so. We pull back on the, on the tissue inside. So we have the, this pressure of pulling back the, of, the, of the tissue inside. Uh, this is why just I support it with my finger. So you can see now the first tag here, you can release it. No, the first, the, uh, the, the, uh, this one. Okay, so you can see here this white uh, tag that will be released now. Yes. I'm trying as much as I can. Yeah, because you, you, you have been always the doctor, not the nurse, huh? It's here. I can help. I, I help you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So, <laughs> Thank you, sir. I help it then, so. And then he will pull back. So now uh, I'm removing the needle. Yes, and you can see here. This is the this is the tag. Uh, on the uh, after the full suture, normally we repeat this again on the opposing wall, and then we pull back both of them to have the full tissue opposition. And I think Vincent is ready for the first Thank suture. You. Okay, so I will do the same um, inside the, the stomach. So we start usually at the size of the uh, incisura. I'm grasping the tissue with uh, raptor forceps. Okay, which is coming through my scope, then I'm pulling back and we have the endomina already preloaded with the needle, so I'm pulling back everything. And then I ask uh, Francine to pierce the tissue with the needle. So we'll see, she will felt it in her fingers and when the needle is coming out, we are able to see, it. then she will release, she will release the first tag which contains uh, the nut, the, the pre-tied nut, as well as a small ball to tighten everything. So she's releasing the tag, pulling back everything, and then we do the same 
on the greater curvature and we will tighten everything. So we'll have a first shutters which contains a double serosa to serosa application. Okay, pull back. Okay, more. Okay. Open. Okay. So you see now we have the first tag there. Okay. I'm pulling back a little bit, just advance a little bit the needle. Uh, Vincent, you can uh, move on. So we will move now to the next scale because they are ready and we'll come back to you afterwards. Okay. Our next page. What about? So just to show you, we put uh, two suitors at the size of the um, incisura and you can see the narrowing of the uh, incisura. So now I'm coming from uh, the incisura to the fenders leaving the fenders untouched. So you, you can see nicely the needle which is going through the small window on the opposite side. And I will grasp the tissue and do it again. Usually we are putting an average of 10 sutures from eight to, to 12 in one hours, one hours and a half. Um, just slowly and gently. So now, okay, I will grasp the tissue just in front of me. Okay, close, pulling back. Okay, grasping a lot of tissue to be sure that we have a full thickness uh, pursing. Okay. I have so the impression that this graspor is, is relatively large. So it's a raptor forceps. It's a mix be between a rat tooth and a biopsy forceps. It's commercially available. Uh, we are trying to using uh, some commercially available uh, tools uh, like the snare, which is a small uh, monofilament snare. And of course, it's a, it's a big one to grasp a lot of tissue and to apply some strength to have, to have a lot of tissue between the two arms of the, of the device. So um, if you look at the data regarding the results uh, of, the, of the Andamina, we have uh, published last year a first study which was a safety and feasibility study with, with only 11 patients and uh, everybody was going well. We have an excess weight loss of around 40%. And we just published our multicentric trial which was involving uh, Guido in Roma and Mashitka in Rome with uh, over 50 patients followed for one year with an excess weight loss of 30% and total body weight loss of 10%. So uh, I'm thinking that, uh, and I was discussing with, with Mustafa, okay, open, that as, as every bariatric procedure, we, have, uh, we need to have a good um, follow-up of our patient, a good selection and a good follow-up of our patient because it's only giving to the patient an early feeling of society, so it will only work if the patient is able to change his, his eating behavior. Okay, you can see now I'm grasping the, the, greater, the, the, the posterior wall, and now she will pierce to release the second tag. Okay. But it's interesting what you're saying. So it actually works if patients are in conjunction able to uh, adjust their eating habits? Yeah, sure. So that's why every patient should undergo a multidisciplinary workup before the uh, inclusion in every bariatric treatment to see a dietitian and a psychologist. This is not only to indomina, but to every procedure, even to sleep gastrectomy and to bypass. We see nowadays patients gaining weight again after surgical procedures. So I think the combination of uh, lifestyle modification and diet control with any procedure is mandatory. Okay. So now okay. we are releasing the wire, opening the arms of the endomina. Okay, thank you, Vincent. We are now close to the break, and okay. uh, we have a short look to the ESD procedure before the break. Drink a coffee for me. Thank <laughs> you.